Hello everybody and welcome to this next video from the Blueprints mini series. In this one I'm going to show you how you can change the world game speed by values that you want. Right now the world game speed is 1. But if I click this button change game speed, right now I double the speed as you can see. And I set up my maximum value to be 10. So if I go all the way up to 8, see how fast I'm running? like this uh, character from DC, the Flash. And you can go all the way up to 10. This is the 10, the maximum that I set up, all right? Pretty fast running guy. After you reach your maximum, when you press again, change game speed, everything goes back to normal. And here in my blueprint, I have speed change step. So right now I show you how you can speed up the game, but it is pretty handy if you put here minus 0.2, you can go into the negative numbers and I can do a slow motion. Let me show you pretty quickly how you can do the slow-mo. Right now my game is running at one, which is the normal game speed. If I click two times, change game speed, we are right now 0.6 from the normal. And you can see that we are entering in this slow motion area, right? Let me click two more times and we have the pretty slow motion matrix style. All right, bam, landing, slow motion, all the way to zero. Right now the game is in pause mode. Then I click change game speed and we get back to normal. So let's start and let me show you how you can achieve that. If you watch my previous video, you already know that my channel is demonetized. So I've decided to switch to Patreon. Becoming a Patreon member, you support me and this channel to keep evolving, to keep creating more and more interesting videos. Besides that, you have access to all the files that I've created from the start of my YouTube channel. So right now you can download the water shader, you can download the auto material from my previous video. If you didn't watch it, go and watch it. And you can have access to more in-depth videos about how the things work, like the auto material, the water shader, and a few more videos. And also you will have access to a VIP Discord server only dedicated to my Patreon members, where I am active most of the time. So if you want to support the growth of this channel, and if you want to see more and more videos like this, go to my Patreon page, enroll now, and also you will have access to everything that I'm creating. Thanks everyone. The first step is, you need to create a function. Right now, this function change game speed is from my CG dealers mega kit. If you want this kit and a lot more functions besides this one, go to my Patreon page and grab it. This kit is updated weekly, so a lot of new functionality will be coming in the next weeks, all right? So from here, open gameplay, movement, change game speed. If you don't have my CG dealers kit, you can click here plus and name the function change game speed, all right? The first thing that you need to create is three variables, vocal game speed, vocal game speed maximum, vocal minimum speed. Click from here, choose fold over here and pick a name, but it should start with vocal. This is the first step. The second step, select your first block and on this block you need to put five different input variables. The first one is the game speed. So we're gonna input the game speed. The second one is game speed minimum, again float. The third one is game speed maximum, float. Reference object, because we need to reference the time dilation. And the fifth one is speed change step. This is the step that we want to change the speed. Then for the output, we just need the result in float. You can add them by clicking this plus, selecting the type of the variable and just naming it. So you need four floats in one object and you need one float over here. Okay, so let's start. The first thing that you need to do is you need to set the local variables and get the result from here. So how to set them up? The first one is local game speed. We need to set up from the input over here because we're inputting the current game speed and we need to set it to the local. So what you need to do is drag and drop this, set local speed and connect this one over here and game speed over here. The same goes for my local game speed maximum. We set up this maximum outside of this function and we need to feed up the local variables. So again, game speed maximum, go to the local game speed, drag and drop this, set, connect this, this one to this one and game speed maximum to local game speed max. And the third one is local minimum speed, connect the game speed minimum over here to this one. Okay, those are the first things. The second thing is you need a branch, right click search for branch. 
And when you add this branch, connect the third one to the execution of the branch, just like this, all right? Then for the condition, what we need over here, we need the local game speed to be less than the local game speed maximum. How to get this? Just drag and drop and click get and connect the local game speed over here. And then we search for the maximum, get and connect it over here. Okay, pretty easy. Why are we comparing this? If my local game speed right now is, let's say five, and my local game speed maximum is 10, we still need to increment this number at, until we reach the local game speed maximum 10. When we increment all the way up to 10, we have the question here, is local game speed eight less than local game speed max? Then in this condition, it is true. Then we go to the second branch. In this second branch, I'm just checking if we're going in the different direction, in the slow motion direction. So we have one more condition, all right? Here I'm adding to the local game speed, the speed change step, okay? So we, we change it with one and the local game speed is one and we got two. And I'm just comparing if two is bigger than my local minimum speed. All right, and I'm comparing this in order for us if we go into the different direction and if we are subtracting with minus that when we reach the minimum speed, we also reset to one, all right? Then in this branch, if let's say my local game speed is bigger than my local minimum speed, we say it's true, then we set the local game speed over here. And the local game speed over here gets the result from here. We have the local game speed plus Again, the speed change step, and then we lerp it, we interpolate between two values, between the last value that we added here with the speed change step, and we get the global time dilation in the B. So we lerp between those two, all right? Then the return value, we set up here in the local game speed, okay? Then the local game speed go to the result. But in the case that we meet any of this, if we reach the maximum, or we reach the minimum, we go here in the false and here in the false. And we set up the local game speed to one, then we feed the result to the time dilation and we get the exact again in the set global time dilation. And the global time dilation, the word context object is getting here the reference object, okay? And how to find this? Right click set global time dilation and this will set up the global time of the game, all right? So this is the function that you need to create and this is how it, it is working, all right? This is the first step. The second step is you need to create a blueprint widget, right? Right click, go to user interface and then widget blueprint. Click user widget and then put the name. When you create the widget, double click on it. And here in the designer, what you need to do, I already have a button, but what you need to do is you need to search for canvas canvas, drag and drop it over here. Then the second thing that you need to search is button, select it, drag and drop it on top of the canvas, just like that. Then select your button, move it somewhere that you want, maybe scale it up a little bit, position it over here. And if you want to have a text, just add a text, put it into the button, click on the text. And here in the text content, just type change, change game speed and from the color i'm going to choose to be black and this is your button okay when you create your button what you need to do is click here is variable the button so you can uh, work with it and here in the event section on clicked click on the plus button it will create this on click change game speed button event okay so right now here in the ui i've created game speed game speed maximum speed change step and game speed minimum so i've set up four floats game speed, I set it up to one. Game speed maximum is 10. My speed change step will be one. And my game speed minimum is zero. After you create all this, what you need to do is drag and drop the change game speed button over here and click on get. And at this moment, change game speed block here, the function that we've created, you need to search. I just right click and search for the name of your function. Right now, I just search it by CG dealers which is my mega kit. And I just add change and this is change game speed. I just click on it and I have my function. And what you need to do is on click, connect to the function, then connect all the parameters that you want over here, connect the change game button to the reference object and connect the speed change step over here. 
after everything that you did, you need just to drag and drop and click set game speed and the result should go into the game speed. This is it. This is how it works. Okay. And compile, save, minimize, play. And now you can change your game speed. This is pretty easy. And of course, all those variables can be accessed through a reference, maybe your character, maybe you have a global blueprint, which holds all the variables for your game, for the game speed, for let's say some events, etc. But right now I just add them like that, all right? And as you can see, you can pretty quickly in no time create this game speed effect, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'm seeing you in the next video of this blueprint mini series. And before I end up this video, I want to let you know that I've created a Blueprints Masterclass for Unreal Engine 5. It is available right now on Udemy. So if you want to expand your knowledge and not just only create art pieces in Unreal Engine 5, but create some characters, create some game logic, my course is the perfect solution from beginners to intermediate Unreal Engine 5 users. The course itself is 15 hours long and it has all the foundation that you need to kickstart your blueprint knowledge in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to keep evolving yourself beyond just creating art in Unreal Engine 5, enroll now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to support me and get access to all my files, also to the auto material that I've created previously, join my Patreon page for $4.99 and with your pledge, you're supporting me to keep creating amazing videos like this. Each one of you can make a big difference by supporting my channel so I can keep making those videos. Thank you guys for watching this video. Happy game development. I'm out.